Welcome back, everyone. What an amazing night. Yeah. So good. So good. There were a lot of great things, and we know that there were some technical issues, but um, we're going to get that resolved. My name is Courtney Allison Mills. I am joining you live from the Box 5 studio presented by Fred J. Miller. We're just going to go ahead and do a quick little wrap-up and, and send you yes. guys on your way. And, man, you know, it's not just about this tonight. It's about the whole totality of the season. And yes. we're looking at this, the culmination of all of these bands, not just the 12. We're looking at the culmination of a season. And mm -hmm. that, to me, there's some sorrow in that. You know, uh, before the show started, they were talking, uh, you know, to the crowd about the importance of supporting all the other groups and recognizing that, yes, this is a competition, but that we're here to support each other. And at the end, when Archbishop Alter was giving their exhibition performance, the audience was all stand, All of them were standing. Was Archbishop crazy. Alter, they're not competing for a spot tonight. They're yes. out there playing for the love of the performance and for the love of the audience and to entertain the crowd. And that's what tonight is all about. So even if you get 12th place, even if you come in dead last, it doesn't matter because you all, all of those kids out there had a similar experience where they shared in music making with the crowd and they were all being supported by each other. It was incredible. So we've heard it said several times throughout the weekend that um, there's just power in making music, this power in music education. So thank you to all of you supporting music education. Um, these students have an incredible opportunity to be able to share this gift of, of music with the world, with the country. And so it's a celebration of music, the power of music, the power of music education. It's a celebration, we, we said it before, but of our parents, of, of, our, um, of our educators, and of course, the students. The students were the rock stars this evening. This, this weekend, excuse me, this weekend. <laughs> yeah, well, no, 100%. It's, it's this culmination and the celebration of all these people. And not for nothing, but Bands of America does an amazing job of putting on the most phenomenal show. World class. So well run, down to the second. And when I tell you down to the second, <laughs> as somebody who's been in the announcer booth and they give you a stopwatch, it yes. is down to the second. Yes. Um, I think this is going to be my favorite part of the night. You guys get to watch all of these groups walk onto the field and absolutely just stand in front of, yeah, and standing in front of this crowd who is just here for them. They are absolutely getting to have the, the time of their life. And I will be honest with you, I was there at one point. Yes. I was on the field for finals in 1993. And when you're on the field, it is phenomenal. We, you stand there and you're looking at these people and you're looking at the bands next to you and it's electric and you don't know what's going to happen. And quite frankly, it doesn't matter when your name is called. The, but the minute it is, it's just so phenomenal. <laughs> Everybody's just happy to be here. So BOA slogan is positively life-changing experiences. And like, this is one of them. Um, these are moments that these students will remember for the rest of their lives. And just think about all the hard work that went into making these performances happen. All the, the, the rain alterations when it rained, the hot sun. The it snow. got cold this year. The it snow. snowed today. It snowed today. I think about props. Props break, so you got to fix them. And you have just different situations. School clothes because of sickness and different things. So shout out to the students for how hard they've worked. And it's a full operation here at the stadium. You know, everything from, yeah, the bands and the, and the audience, but, like, yes. the, 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 the logistics crew, the elevator operators, the, the concession people. Operators. The elevator the, operators. There were elevator operators, the elevator operators for us staff, and they had TVs in there. The elevator awesome. operators are following along with their schedule because they are locked into the performance also. So when we talk about how BOA puts on a quality performance, everybody from top to bottom, whether you're a band director, uh, an audience participant, or you're working in logistics, they're all bought into this. They're right, right there with us. Yeah, no, and I... I will so tell you, I made so many friends with elevator operators this oh, yeah. weekend. <laughs> They're the best. It, you know, that was, that was, so uh, and it's just one of those tiny, tiny details. Yeah, just watching behind us. I know that, like, you it's guys so are watching fun. them walk on the field, and they are so excited. And to be in this environment is just exhilarating. Um, also, how colorful is, I mean, you see yellow, you see pink. You see plumes, you see beautiful hair, you see top hats. Yeah. So many top hats sight. this year. <laughs> Lots yeah. of top hats. And do a choreography with the top hats. Yeah. I'm like, yes. Big I, fan. I, I don't know Get if there's it. a more pageantry-filled moment than the full parade, watching all of these different bands 
who Come on together. the one hand, yeah, on the one hand they're competing against each other for a trophy, but on the other hand, <laughs> in like 20 minutes when they break ranks, they're all going to be hugging each other and swapping Instagram and, and Snapchat handles. That's yeah. like a, I mean, band community is unity. I was literally <laughs> just going to say band community is unity, and that is the reason we are here. Yes. We are here yes, to support yes. them and to make sure that they know they are loved, valued, and appreciated for all of their hard work. I would be remiss if I didn't mention the parents and all of the support staff that goes yes. in, the pit dads, y'all, seeing them Amazing. on the sidelines pushing and pulling and, and get in the snow today, it was unbelievable. Yeah. And fixing in the parking lot. 100%. I mean, parents, you assembling. are rock stars, and you are just a, as much a part of this as every single kiddo on the field tonight. And um, this is honestly one of the best parts of the night. So I think at this point we are going to um, let you enjoy this. And... Until next year, we're going to break ranks.
How about another round of applause for the Western Carolina University Pride of the Mountains drumline? All right, folks, while our finalist bands are assembled here before you, let's hear it another time for the 2022 Bands of America Grand and National Finalists and Class Champion Bands. Let the Grand National Finale begin. We proudly present the future of America, the leaders of tomorrow who make up our bands of America. The young performers before you are setting standards of excellence in all facets of life. What you've witnessed for the past three days speaks to the positive development of our children, our siblings, and our grandchildren. It's important to remember what's most important in life, including family, friendship, and liberty. As we celebrate the young people who have performed in this Grand National Championship, we renew our sense of one of the most vital values, the desire for and pursuit of excellence. The young people before you represent some of the best qualities of the United States of America. Dedication, creativity, teamwork, leadership, and the desire to better themselves and express their hard work in a competitive arena. The young people, teachers, and families of these BOA bands move forward with the determination in their quest for excellence. In our world today, we should embrace such commitment and courage. We invite you to join us in celebrating the American spirit and all of the bands of America. There are 20 thousand high school instrumental music programs in the United States. And of those, more than 600 have chosen to pursue excellence through participation this fall in 25 Bands of America championships across the country. Only these 12 will have the honor of wearing a 2022 Bands of America Grand National Finalist Medallion. Presenting finalist and class champion medallions are Music for All Chairman of the Board, Doug Polari, Vice Chairman, David Golden, and Music for All President and CEO, Jeremy Earnhardt. Our medallion bearers are Grand National Event Volunteers from Norwin High School and Greenfield Central High School. Join me in congratulating our Class A champion, the Archbishop Alter High School from Kettering, Ohio. The band is under the direction of Mr. Todd Tucker. Archbishop Alter High School is supported by Superintendent Mrs. Susan Gibbons and Principal Ms. Lourdes Lambert. Presenting the Archbishop Alter High School Marching Band. Join me in congratulating Fishers High School from Fishers, Indiana. The band is under the direction of Mr. Chad Kohler, with assistance from Chris Descent. Fishers High School, supported by Superintendent Dr. Yvonne Stokes and Principal Mr. Jason Urban. This is their first Grand National Finals experience. Presenting the Fishers High School Marching Tiger Band.
Join me in congratulating the Prosper High School Marching Band from Prosper, Texas. The band is under the direction of Mr. Brandon Holt, with assistance from Aaron Renzenbrink, Aaron Duggar, Michael Hustis, and Lindsay Kumersack. Prosper High School is supported by Superintendent Dr. Holly Ferguson and Principal Mr. Nicholas Jones. This is their second Grand Nationals Finals appearance. Presenting the Prosper Mighty Eagle Band. Join me in congratulating Robert E. Hendrickson High School from Pflugerville, Texas. The band is under the direction of Mr. James, Harris, James Hairston with assistance from Isaac Medina, August Murbach, Nathan Zamora, and Tyler Hex. Robert E. Hendrickson High School is supported by Superintendent Dr. Douglas Killian and Principal Mr. Michael Greb. This is their first Grand National Finals appearance. Presenting the Hendrickson Hawk Band. Join me in congratulating the Castle High School Marching Band from Newburgh, Indiana. The band is under the direction of Mr. Ethan Wilkinson and Mr. Grant Winterheimer, with assistance from Nikki Miller, Joshua Waite, and Tamar Wynn. Castle High School is supported by Superintendent Dr. Todd Lambert and Principal Mr. James Hood. This is their third Grand National Finals appearance. Presenting the Castle Marching Knights. Join me in congratulating South Lake Carroll High School from South Lake, Texas. The band is under the direction of Mr. Ken Johnson with assistance from David Lown, Philip Jones, John Maynard, and James Thomas. South Lake Carroll High School is supported by Superintendent Dr. Lane Ledbetter and Principal Mr. Ryan Wilson. This is their first Grand National Finals appearance, presenting the South Lake Carroll Dragon Band. Join me in congratulating the Brownsburg High School Marching Band from Brownsburg, Indiana. The band is under the direction of Mr. Chris Kopflick and Mr. Chris Paulson with assistance from John Mark, Chad Brinkman, and Tracy Runyon. Brownsburg High School is supported by Superintendent Dr. Jim Snap and Principal Dr. Bent Duguay. This is their first Grand National Finals appearance. Presenting the Sound of Brownsburg. Join me in congratulating Broken Arrow High School from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. The band is under the direction of Mr. Darren Davis and Dr. Kelly Pence with assistance from Adam Winkin, Kyle Smith, Trey Lack, Greg Mangus, and Jace Davison. Broken Arrow High School is supported by Superintendent Mr. Chuck Perry and Principal Ms. Crystal Barber. This is their 17th Grand National Finals appearance, presenting the Pride of Broken Arrow. Join me in congratulating the Avon High School Marching Band from Avon, Indiana. The band is under the direction of Mr. Kevin Wellborn, with assistance from Matt Harloff, Carl Hartman, and Robert Burns. Avon High School is supported by Superintendent Dr. Scott Windham and Principal Mr. Matt Shockley. This is their 20th Grand National Finals appearance, presenting the Avon Marching Black and Gold. Join me in congratulating Dobbins Bennett High School from Kingsport, Tennessee. The band is under the direction of Mr. Leif Cook with assistance from Ryan Gilbert and Jacob Carpenter. Dobbins Bennett High School is supported by Superintendent Dr. Jeff Morehouse and Principal Dr. Chris Hampton. This is their fifth Grand National Finals appearance. Presenting the Dobbins Bennett High School Marching Band. Join me in congratulating the Tarpon Springs Outdoor Performance Ensemble from Tarpon Springs, Florida. 
The band is under the direction of Mr. Kevin Ford, with assistance from Dr. Timothy Sexton and Oliver Delato. Tarpon Springs High School is supported by Superintendent Mr. Kevin Hendrick and Principal Ms. Lisa Fatolotis. This is their 14th Grand National Finals appearance, presenting the Tarpon Springs Outdoor Performance Ensemble. Join me in congratulating Carmel High School from Carmel, Indiana. The band is under the direction of Mr. Chris Crakey, with assistance from Mike Pote, Andy Cook, Kyle Young, and Matt Black. Carmel High School is supported by Superintendent Dr. Michael Beresford and Principal Dr. Tim Ferris. This is their 26th Grand National Finals appearance, presenting the Carmel Marching Greyhounds. Join me in congratulating the William Mason High School Marching Band from Mason, Ohio. The band is under the direction of Mr. Jason Sleppy, with assistance from Edward Protzman, Abius Jackson, Zach Hinson, and Aaron Rex. William Mason High School is supported by Superintendent Dr. Jonathan Cooper and Principal Mr. Bobby Dodd. This is their 10th Grand National Finals appearance, presenting the William Mason High School Marching Band. And again, join me in congratulating our Class A champion, Archbishop Alter High School from Kettering, Ohio. The band is under the direction of Mr. Todd Tucker. Archbishop Alter High School is supported by Superintendent Mrs. Susan Gibbons and Principal Mrs. Lourdes Lambert. Presenting the Archbishop Alter High School Marching Band. Now, I speak to the young people on the field. Those you see around you are, as you are, among the best that America has to offer. Tonight, you share this field with your peers, with the knowledge that you've achieved something to which thousands aspire. You are a national finalist at the Bands of America Grand and National Championships. This moment, is now recorded in history. Wear your medallion with pride. And right now, I invite our audience to stand together and in a thunderous round of applause, recognize the achievements of the Bands of America Grand National Championship finalists. And now I'll direct your attentions to the video screens as we celebrate moments from the Bands of America Grand National Championships presented by Yamaha.
Drum majors, front and center, please. The Al Castronovo Esprit de Corps Award is presented to the participating band from among all of the Grand National Bands performing this week, who has exemplified the spirit, teamwork, support, and enthusiasm that are the essence of what band is about. This award is presented in memory of Al Castronovo, band director and friend of Bands of America. Presenting the award is Music for All's Director of Participant Relations and Special Projects and BOA Hall of Fame member, Cam Stasa. The 2022 Bands of America Grand National Esprit de Corps Award is presented to the DeWitt High School Marching Band from DeWitt, Michigan. We now present our Grand National Finals Placement Awards and Highest Achievement Awards. In accordance with the Bands of America adjudication system, tie scores in finals competition are resolved by awarding higher placement to the band with the higher general effect score. And now tonight's results. In 12th place, Award presented by Ayate Shabazz, Music for All Board of Directors member, with a score of 88.15, the Castle High School Marching Band from Newburgh, Indiana. As part of a unique partnership, the Pasadena Tournament of Roses has selected a Grand National Band from among those who have performed in semifinals to receive an invitation to participate in the 2024 Rose Parade. At this time, please welcome to the field Tournament of Roses Executive Vice President Alex Ahanian as he extends the official invitation to the Castle High School Marching Band. Congratulations, Castle High School. We'll be cheering you on in the Rose Parade in 2024. In 11th place, award presented by John Pollard, Music for All Board of Directors member, with a score of 88.6. The Prosper High School Marching Band from Prosper, Texas.
in 10th place. Award presented by David Simons, Music for All Board of Directors, and a score of 89.3. The Fishers High School Marching Band from Fishers, Indiana. In ninth place, award presented by Annie Martinez, Music for All Board of Directors, and a score of 89.450. The Robert E. Hendrickson High School Marching Band of Pflugerville, Texas. In eighth place, award presented by Herman Knoll, Music for All Board of Directors, and a score of 91.0. The Brownsburg High School Marching Band of Brownsburg, Indiana. In seventh place, award presented by David Golden, Vice Chairman, Music for All Board of Directors, and a score of 91, the South Lake Carroll High School Marching Band from South Lake, Texas. In sixth place, award presented by Michael Bogers, Music for All Board of Directors, with a score of 92.8. The Dobbins Bennett High School Marching Band of Kingsport, Tennessee. In fifth place, award presented by Doug Polari, Chairman of the Music for All Board of Directors, with a score of 95. The Tarpon Springs Outdoor Performance Ensemble from Tarpon Springs, Florida. the 2022 Grand National Finals Award for Outstanding Music Performance. Award presented by David Suter, Yamaha Corporation of America. Goes to the Carmel High School Marching Band from Carmel, Indiana.
in fourth place. Award presented by Chad Parrish of the Winger Corporation and a score 95.150. The William Mason High School Marching Band from Mason, Ohio. The 2022 Grand National Finals Steve Brubaker Award for Outstanding Visual Performance. Award presented by Mike and Mark Miller of Fred J. Miller Incorporated. Goes to the Carmel High School Marching Band from Carmel, Indiana. In third place, award presented by Lindy Stisher, Music Travel Consultants, and a score 96.050. To the Broken Arrow High School Marching Band, the Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. The 2022 Grand National Finals Award for Outstanding General Effect. Award presented by Gunnery Sergeant Kevin Oz, Gunnery Sergeant Marta Timoney, and Staff Sergeant Sean Salazar of the United States Marine Corps. And goes to the Carmel High School Marching Band of Carmel, Indiana. In second place, award presented by David Souter of the Yamaha Corporation, Corporation of America with a score of 96.15. The Avon High School Marching Band of Avon, Indiana. In first place, award presented by Doug Polari, David Golden, and Dr. Jeremy Earnhardt, President and CEO of Music for All, and a score, 97.5, the 2022 Bands of America Grand National Championship Band, the Carmel High School Marching Band of Carmel, Indiana. Let's hear it for all of the 2022 Bands of America Grand National Championship finalist bands. And now, in keeping with the Bands of America tradition, 
When I give the cue to break ranks, all band members may break to meet, acknowledge, and congratulate each other, as well as our new Bands of America Grand National Champion. All of these band members are your winners in life. Go for it, break ranks.